Hey, first grade. Yesterday, we read this book, Feathers, Not Just for Flying, and we worked together to determine the main idea of this text, which is that feathers have many jobs and help birds survive in different ways. Well, today, we are going to describe the structure of this text, Feathers, Not Just for Flying. The structure is how the words and pictures are organized in the text. When we know how a text is organized, we can more easily find the information to help us answer our questions. So let's look closely at a couple pages of this book so we can determine the structure of this source to help us as researchers when we start to gather information in later lessons. So we're just going to look at about two pages here. Let's go to the information about the Blue Jay. It says, Feathers can warm like a blanket. On cold, damp days, a blue jay stays warm by fluffing up its feathers and trapping a layer of warm air next to its skin. Now, I want to notice the different chunks on this page. Um, I first see a phrase up here at the top. Letters are bigger, and it, it acts kind of like a heading. And then I see another chunk down here. And I've got this text that's in a box. And this text is giving me more information about how the blue jay warms its, or how the blue jay uses its feather like a blanket. And the other big chunk that I see is I have an illustration over here. And this illustration has a label. So the big chunks that I have on each page are a heading at the top. I have a, a caption inside of a box. And then I also have an illustration. Let's go to the next page. Or cushion like a pillow. A female wood duck lines her nest with feathers she plucks from her own body. These feathers cushion the duck's eggs and keep them warm. Now I'm noticing these same three chunks on this page as well. I've got this simile, right? That acts like a heading, cushion like a pillow. There's my heading. And then I have this caption once again in the white box. And then I have an illustration with a label. So these pages aren't exactly the same. The pictures and the text change places. But if we keep flipping through the book, we're going to see over and over again that we have these three chunks on each page. We have our heading, we have our caption in the box, and we also have our illustration with, with a label. I want you to discuss with your teacher, if we understand how the pages are organized, how would that help us find the information we need?